Hello everybody and welcome back to another Empire at War video. Today I've got something a little bit special for you guys. It's not a new mod or new ship models to show off. But did you know there's a campaign in Thrawn's Revenge that is so short you could get it done in about one to two hours of gameplay. So that's what we're going to be doing today. The campaign is called Izzard's Revenge. Now there's only 16 planets in this campaign so it is relatively fast. We're going to be playing as the Empire and seeing if we can completely wipe out the New Republic. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, taking a quick pause just so we can get an idea of where all our assets are. We have uh, some on the left side and then just a load of other Imperial uh, and Victories just scattered around our side of the map. We have the New Republics down in the bottom left side with Coruscant, Bill Bringy, so on and so forth. So um, judging by like how little amount of planets there are uh, and looking at choke points, uh, uh, we probably want to go to, and again, I'm sorry if I pronounce these planets wrong, I'm still learning them. Uh, uh, Chandrilla uh, is a good choke point and Ord is another good um, choke point here. Uh, besides that, any other planets that we decide to go for, like E4 or, or uh, anything else like um, Komenor, uh, I'm really sorry if I'm pronouncing these wrong, um, they're, they're not going to be that uh, useful. Um, and since we're playing on hard, I do expect the AI to get pretty aggressive in taking out other planets. So without further ado, let's go ahead and consolidate our fleets. Okay, so now that we've consolidated our fleets, let's take a look at them. On the left side, we have about two Imperial 2 super, uh, uh, Star Destroyers. We have an Immobilizer, Victory, and a Dreadnought Heavy Cruiser. On the right side, we have uh, a Imperial uh, two Imperial 2 Star Destroyers. We have three Victory 2s and two Victory 1s, along with a heavy Dreadnought, uh, Strike Cruiser, the like. So the reason this fleet's a bit bigger than the other is because we this is the side of the map that we want to start pushing into. Uh, we want to go in for uh, Chandrilla first, uh, capitalize on that to prevent the New Republic from uh, pushing out to other planets. Um, besides that, we see that New Republic is already um, conquering some planets on the left side. So I'm going to be fortifying... Uh, this planet here, uh, whether we use hypervelocity ca cannons, mm, I'm probably going to focus more on fleet building and keeping it there. So if we do get any big fleets come in, we're prepared, uh, as well as some golems and so on and so forth. So besides that, what I want to focus on as well is I want to get my income up really, really fast and then build out my ground units. Ground units are probably going to be more valuable than space units right now because we have a lot starting off with. Um, and as long as we keep our Imperial 2s alive, we should be in pretty good shape. Okay, so in terms of buildings on planets, I'm building tax collection agencies in the planets that are a bit more safer in the back of the map. But ones that are on our choke points, are, I've kept pretty much the same. We've got barracks and light factories. I did build an advanced factory so we can get some really strong AT-ATs out from this planet. Um, but besides that, that's our income increased by a little bit per month. Uh, next up, I because we've got 6,500, I wouldn't mind building just like standard like trade station, maybe even a goal and free when we can. Um, just generally, again, building out as much income as possible in terms of space units. So after we've done that, let's go ahead and get a spy drone so we can see what we're going up against. And once that's built, we'll start pushing into our first uh, space battle. Yeah, see, look, they're, they're already conquering planets here that we have no vision on. So they're already right up against us. So we need to be super careful. Um, AI is really not messing about here. Really going in fast. Okay, so let's go ahead and move our fleet to our first battle at Chandrilla. This will be a pretty difficult um, battle, first battle. Probably not too overwhelming, depending on... Uh, how much they have at the planet, but it will be quite overbearing considering we're already fighting on the New Republic's turf. We're not fighting for an independent planet here. Um, so yeah, already quite a lot that we have to deal with here. So we'll, we'll take an idea of what they've got, see if we can go up against it. We've got big fleets already, so I wouldn't be surprised if we can, but if they've got like loads of victories, then we're going to have to redecide something. Okay, so a lot of small units. A lot of fighters as well. Let's take a quick look at what we've got. We've got two Imperial 2s. We've got a lot of victories as well. I think this is something we can pretty much secure pretty well. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to drop 
my Imperial to there. I'm going to drop the other one there. I'm going to drop our victories a little bit further back in because the AI likes to target them down because they're easy targets. So uh, get our Imperial 2s up in the front so our victories can stay in the back and deal damage. Um, so let's focus on whatever comes to us first. Um, yeah, perfect. I'm worried that he might go for... No, actually, we should be all right. Uh, right. I want you to just focus on this for now because you're already tanking quite a bit of damage. Um, let's get our strike cruiser in because strike cruisers have quite a lot of range too. We'll also get our fighters to start taking out the enemy uh, front line as well. This looks like a lot, but honestly, in terms of numbers, it's, r it's really not. As long as I get my victories now into battle, now that they're focused on the Imperials, we should be pretty fine. Like, it's it's just big in small numbers, that's all, really. Just, they're already going for my uh, Dreadnought. Hopefully, I can get that out, out in time, but it looks like I might not be able to. I was really late on the victories coming out, um, so they took advantage of that. But, uh, yeah, see, like I've got some victories here just not even moving in yet, which is not a good move on my part. I'm not worried if I lose the... the the dreadnought but actually it might live you know now that this uh yeah actually i think we're, we're all right that's gonna live i think uh nebulon b's next which just go down like super super fast not even worried about that the enemy victory went down too it's just that there's a lot of fighters um which cause us to you know get a bit overwhelmed uh from, from the quasar fighters but that's something we could probably look at building. We could probably look at building some escorts as well. So off they pop. I'm re I'm, I'm happy to leave them. Uh, I don't want to take on the goal and risk losing uh, more ships. It's really not that big of a deal. I could have brought the immobilizer and stopped them from leaving. But we've already taken out what we need from that battle. So pretty good, fast first battle there, if you ask me. Um, so next up, I'm going to put the trade station there. Really bump, bump up our... See, that's 4,500 credits already per week. That's really good. Uh, let's go ahead. I think we got some barracks over here, don't we? Uh, let's go and build some escort carriers, as we mentioned. But then also, let's go ahead and get some more uh, troops. And then one treat ourselves to an ATST as well. Uh, so we'll do that. Uh, and over here, we've got it pretty cheap here as well. But I want to I keep this planet really bolstered up you know like i feel like if we're going on the right side the uh, new republic is pushing on the left side so i really want this super well defended so with that in mind let's go ahead and build um we've got three thousand mm, let's say let's just stick to a victory one here and then uh, in terms of our ground units I think we're pretty good. I'm happy to go in for our first ground battle. And of course, uh, as I mentioned earlier, I'm not going to uh, show ground battles in this campaign because otherwise it'll probably be about a two hour video. I don't really want that. We're just gonna keep it really, really quick, sweet, space battles only. Uh, so you can enjoy this full campaign in one video, one digestible bite-sized video. Anyway, let's go ahead and start our first ground battle. Alrighty, so we did lose some Stormtrooper platoons. I was going in really aggressive. I just uh, wanted to wrap it up as fast as possible. Um, so not bad for our first planet secured. Uh, it did seem that they got uh, Commend uh, Commendor. Oh, God, I'm never going to pronounce that right. Uh, before I could even stop them. So unfortunately, a uh, bit of a disappointment on there. Because it's going to make that battle a bit more difficult. Um, either way, let's go ahead and uh, look at uh, uh, Bolt. Putting in some tax collection agencies. Uh, we'll put in a moth palace as well. Uh, I'm going to leave the rest there, I think. Um, and then for space units, we can build a trade station. Uh, we're still pretty low on cash right now, but that's okay. Um, that's all right. I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to drag this uh, over to here. I actually want to keep putting more and more into um uh into this side of the planet as well actually i'm going to take the 8080 over there 
Um, let's have a look at what we've got down in the bottom right of this map. Hopefully it's not too much. Maybe they've got a big fleet there and I'm just not prepared. We'll just have to wait and see. But uh, let's go ahead and join all of our ground units together. That way uh, we can attack, gra uh, attack on ground battles a lot faster. Um... I, f I do think we're going to get attacked here. I think it, it just makes sense. They've got something big brewing over there and I, I want to be ready for it. Um, looks like they haven't got anything. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this planet as fast as possible so we don't have to worry about them building more assets down there. Uh, a trade station. I, I assume there's more, right? Like I, I don't think... Yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna risk it. I'm, not, I'm just gonna do the battle. I really wanted auto resolve, but if I like ended up losing a victory, that's gonna be pretty painful. Um, because they could have a golem, and I just don't know. Uh, doesn't seem like it. Yeah, it's, well, it's better to be safe than sorry. So I didn't want to risk it. Just go ahead and uh, clean this up super quick. Literally nothing to worry about. That will go down instantly. And then they're looking to... Yeah, there we go. Pretty clean win on that one, as expected. I think they captured that planet just as I captured uh, their choke point. So they had nothing to defend themselves with. Uh, they look like they do have a little bit of uh, um, ground units. But nothing that we can't really handle, to be honest. You know? Okay, so going in for our second ground battle. So, same approach as I had on the first ground battle. I just went in super, super aggressive with way too many ground units for the uh, enemy AI to even counter. So, we did lose something there, but minuscule for how much time we saved. So, now that we've captured that, let's go ahead and bring our ground units back to the choke point. A trangilla, trandrilla. I'll get it right once. One time, I'll get it right. But um, now that we have that all secured, I'm really worried about on the top side map. I think we're going to get attacked very soon. So uh, let's go ahead and start building some bigger, badder ships. We've got an allegiance here. I'd love to build that. Uh, but it's a very big ship, which is very risky, I find. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and... Hmm, no, I'm not going to build that. I'm going to build one... Um, Imperial 2 Star Destroyer, and then after that, I'm going to go ahead and build a few more smaller ships. So, let's go ahead and find these. Let's do another victory, and then we'll do another uh, uh, carrier. So, already uh, shaping up to be something pretty impressive here. Um, fingers crossed it will be enough, though. Uh, but it's early days, so we've got a lot that we can do to protect this planet. Uh, close that. Can I drag you guys? Oh, such an annoying feature. Anyway, um, so next on my agenda, I think I'm going to go for uh, Farron. Uh, yeah, maybe no, not Coruscant because that's that's this is a good choke point here. So I'm going to go for Farron. See how good it is there, or like how heavily guarded it is. Um, so I can build a spy droid. Take a look at what they've got there. I expect they've got something pretty big at Coruscant as well. That's something we need to look out for. Okay, so what have they got here? Uh, nothing in terms of ground or space units, really. So I think we can just safely go in and capture both the, 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 the space and ground battles here. Oh, we do have a hero, actually. we got two. This could be actually a really good battle for us. It looks like they reacted in time. So let's go ahead and see what we can do here okay so for our third space battle i think this one could be is that a little bug there with the, the box yeah it is uh, i'll fix that uh, after space battle I'll, I'll quit the campaign and come back and we have pirates that is not the best but dealable definitely dealable all right let's go ahead drop our units in now uh, I should, that victory is in a bit close but we should be all right let's get the strike cruiser in the center there dreadnought heavy cruiser a little bit in the further back here uh, and we need to be careful oh, i'm gonna get him out because we're gonna have pirates on our 
ass in a few moments. <clears throat> uh, I don't know where they're going to spawn. Hopefully behind the enemy. But I highly doubt it. I think they're going to spawn behind us. Uh, let's get the uh, uh, fighters in. And... Uh, yeah, we, this is an imper This is another Imperial, so I don't really want to waste any time here. I want to get these victories in right away. Because uh, this is quite dangerous for R1. We've already been de-shielded, so we need to act fast. I actually might act uh, start pulling this guy back. Um, just so we can start dealing as much damage as possible. That victory went down super quick. That is incredibly fast. Uh, but that's a lot of victories there, though, so I'm not surprised. Um, you know what? I think we're going to out-damage him so you can stay now. Start dealing damage. Um, plus, we've got we've got output maximum firepower here as well. So, uh, uh, yeah, as expected, they're behind us. So, we got the uh, Chiss here with the Ascendancy Star Destroyer. Beautiful model. And then you've got a Chaff. Oh, is that a Chef? I'm calling him Chef, by the way. Don't judge. I do that on purpose. Yeah, so not a massive fleet, but still enough to cause a little bit of a headache. Especially when they're coming in from behind. So we're going to have to turn around on them. Uh, I'm worried about our victory and our Imperial 2 here. But, again, I was really late on the on getting the victories engaged, you know. You, I want this way. Because I don't want... I really don't want our smaller ships on the front line here. Which... It's going to happen if I... Uh, if he gets de-shielded, I'm going to get him out. So, it's hard to judge how strong these... Uh, these... Ascendancies are. I think they're no stronger than a... Just a little bit stronger than a Victory uh, 1 and 2. But much weaker than uh, an Imperial. Okay. So, without... Without... You know messing about too much let's just get stuck in let's get these fighters in and just start disrupting their capital ships there's not a lot of fighters from the enemy here so uh, we can do that we have the luxury of doing so let's get this victory out there i think he's not going to get out in time but we'll see uh the engines are still up so maybe oh perfect so that actually could work out really well for us that might keep our victory alive I don't know. It's hard to tell with pirates, you know. It's like I think we we're fine. I don't think we lose the victory there, even though we lost our engines right as uh, they were retreating. I think we're fine because that's considered a victory nonetheless, right? So uh, no losses. That was actually best case scenario, perfect for us. We took out their hero ships, the victory, and the imperial uh, uh, star destroyer. Uh, yeah, perfect. That was that was really, really good battle for us. Uh, besides that, let's go ahead and start our third ground battle to secure Farin. Far, 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 oh, I don't know. Farfin, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> let's go on with it. Alrighty, same approach. Uh, just went in really, really aggressive. Just lost a few stormtroopers, but that's like 200 credits. So, you know, it's really worth us saving the time. So that's our third uh, ground battle secured and our third planet secured as well. Uh, going at pretty neck break speeds here. I'm really, really happy, but uh, we're not done yet. We need to still fortify. We need to get our cash up even further, even though it's quite high right now, and get this planet fortified the best we can so we can start pushing in uh, on the left side of the map. Welcome back, guys. It is another day for recording because I was really, really ill. It turns out I might have had a little bit of mild uh, food poisoning, but I'm back. I'm alive. And uh, still kicking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a fair few of these uh, spy droids. I think it's because they've made a change where you can't just bring one spy, spy droid all across the planets and then see everything they've got. I think it's one spy droid per planet now. So I don't know if that's true, but that's the experience I've had so far in GC on the uh, 3.1. I could be wrong, but either way. Uh, let's have a look at what we've got on our planets here. We want to build some trade stations. We also want to build... Oh, we've got tax collection agencies there. Uh, we can build a, a trade station there and a trade station here. Um, as for on these planets, let's go ahead and get two of these and that. So looking pretty good in terms of buildings and whatnot. 
Uh, actually, I don't want to spend that much cash on, on just that. Either way, <clears throat> uh, let's go ahead and bolster up our um, fleets on this planet. I think we have enough now to get ourselves an allegiance, which would be lovely. And while we're also there, let's try and build a um, uh, another carrier. So that would make our fleet here really, really powerful. And... After that, we can either look at trying to see what they've got on the left side here and maybe make a move and then pull back when needed or continue pushing down to the left side. But before I do, oh, on the right side, but before I do that, I want to see what's at Coruscant. I don't want to take any risks there. So I think there could be a pretty big fleet that we need to be careful of. Okay, so dragging our spy droids to Agamar and Coruscant, we have, what do we have here? We've got three heroes, I think. That is uh, Victory 2, Imperial 2, and I think he's an Imperial 2 as well. Yeah. Okay, so that's actually pretty decent. We don't have the Allegiance yet, obviously, because we're still building. But I think we've got enough to take out just that planet alone and maybe decide if we want to go into a ground battle and secure that planet. Um, I'm just worried that they'll, they'll go through the other side of the map here because there's two entrances to our choke point. But I think it's not too bad of a risk to take. So, I'm going to move into my next space battle. Uh, and be, I'm going to play a little risky. But I think it will be worth it. Because if we, we've we got the immobilizer, remember. So, if we get into this fight, we can actually stop them from uh, escaping. And we can secure three big kills. It would be really, really great for us. Um, okay. So, Agamar. What do they have? I'm expecting they've got some sort of, like, golem as well to protect them. But... Oh, it's a golden one. It's hardly, hardly anything at this point. Alrighty. And there's pirates, which is not great, but workable nonetheless. Let's try and get... I don't know where they're going to spawn from. So, I'm not familiar with pirates. Okay? I'm really not. So, I don't know how I should play this. Should I bring in a... Dreadnought heavy cruiser here. Just so we don't get we don't lose the battle. We'll get this guy out. Oh no. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, so I tried to retreat there. I don't think it worked. What on earth? You are joking. That is insane for pirates. What on earth? Well, alright, that's good. We played this fine. The pirates can come in on that then. I am not. I'm not worried about that. I lost a f uh, a carrier. Whatever. I really don't care. I'll let them fight it out. What I will do though is if they try to make a run for it, I'll use the immobilizer. The immobilizer. Uh, we have it right. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Interdictor. The immobilizer is a smaller version. Look at that though. You know what? I won't let them escape. I, I will let them escape if they try to. Maybe. Because I really don't want to go against that. That is three Kelder Bay battleships. They are, like, they're, they're pretty big. Like, an Imperial Star Destroyer could probably go up against it. But, we, you know, we've got a limited supply, though. So, I, I don't fancy, you know, me having this battle. Um, I'm going to let them play it out. They look like they're about to win this, I think. And I just don't want to deal with pirates right now. Okay, so how is this battle going? They seem to be trying to retreat. They're going to lose one ship here. Um, and they're about to lose this victory as well. But they lost one Kelder Bay. Is this the pirates as well? Oh my god, they actually... Yeah, they lost that Star Destroyer. Don't know if that victory is going to get out. And they're not going to win this. Okay, interesting. I'm I'm surprised to say it, but the, the 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 pirates actually helped us out here. This could have been awful if I uh, pushed in early. Imagine these guys coming up behind us after starting a fight with uh, the New Republic. That would have been horrendous for us. Awful. Okay, so they got two Kelder Bays left. Mm. All right, let's give it a go. Let's make a push for it. Right away. 
We'll get our Imperials in. I'm not going to bring in our Victories because I don't fancy risk risking losing them. You know what? I'm going to bring in my Mobilizer here. Just so if they do try to escape, we can stop them. Okay. Um, so that's New Republic down. Now we've got to focus on the Pirates. And they did a really good job for us here. Come on, don't... Are you seriously having to do a wide turn like that? Eesh. Ay, ay, ay. Let's try and stop them from regening shields at least. Big wide turns. Big wide turns from... Uh, <laughs> these Imperial Star Destroyers. That's a problem. When you're going against pirates, you have to do a big 180. And it can take long for capital ships to do a big turnaround like that. Thankfully, these Kelder Bays are pretty low on health already, so they're not much of an issue for one Imperial 2. Oh, there goes one. <clears throat> Perfect. All right. I'd say, I'd say just start making a move for the Imperial, uh, the, the New Republic, um, Golan. I, I didn't even need to bring the Immobilizer in at this point because, you know, if they want to leave, I'd like that a lot. <laughs> and this is why I really like these carriers. Because look how many fighters we got on the board now, you know. It's a lot. You know, we don't have to worry about... Um, we don't have to worry about fighter suppression by the enemy team or whatever. So let's get these golems moving. No, come on, dude. Just just go this way. We'll go through the asteroid belt. I'm, I'm not going to complain either way. Uh, even these victories, I could bring in these victories and it could take it out pretty easily. But I don't want to really risk losing a victory over a Golan, you know. I'm dumb enough to be able to do that and lose. <laughs> so I'll get these fighters in first and then maybe I'll bring in the victories afterwards. Wow, I was really panicked by that. When I saw the Keldabase, I was like, oh no. How are we going to deal with this? And it, thankfully, rest in peace, that, that carrier, but it baited the enemy into that fight which is perfect i'm i mean it would have been even better if we could have retreated while it happened but i was really late on the the game for that one <laughs> i could have done that a bit faster um all right so let's get these guys in i thought fighters would be a bit faster than that but whatever i guess all righty now our imperials alert let's get our victories into position so we can get an extra bit of damage. There we go. And maximize firepower. And maximize firepower. That golem will go down pretty quickly. Perfect. Right, now let's get you guys onto the shipyard. And it's just plain sailing at this point. And there we go. That was a really, really big win for us there. Like, wow. <laughs> Pirates could have really made that bad for us. Really made that bad for us. Anyway, it's three heroes down. Let's have a look at what we've got at Coruscant. And that looks like a pretty big fleet. Something that maybe our fleet here won't be able to take on. we got the Allegiance building. If I bring in the Allegiance, maybe that's something we could win. Uh, because they've got an MC-80B. They've got the MC-40A. Uh, uh, they've got Liberty Cruiser, Dauntless, Squadrons, and CR-90. So, not big, but, you know, they've got a big shipyard. I wouldn't expect, I would expect them to have a Golan 3. And then we also got to think about pirates at this point as well. So, like, how bad would it be if they come into play? Lots of things that we've got to juggle around here. So, let me go ahead and quickly check out E4 uh, with, and uh, these asteroids here. We have the spy droids. Just so I can see what they've got. And if I can make a move on that ground battle. Um, looks like they've got nothing here. And not really anything here either. Okay. I'm happy to do this ground battle uh, at Agama. Just so we can secure that planet and just push back a little bit, you know. Okay. So, let's do... Ah, uh, is it fourth ground battle or is it third? I've lost count at this point, but I will see you guys in a second. Alrighty, that one was pretty tough. I gotta say, they had a uh, 
we couldn't do any bombing runs or bombardments um, because they had defenses to prevent that. So they had a lot of ground units in return and a l like a lot of like anti-vehicle, anti-aircraft to make really limit where I can move. But we did it. We did have a fair few losses, but we did it. Um, so let's drag them back. And then we can just rebuild our ground units at that planet. I'm not too worried. Um, see, bang, 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 bang. And then already recovered. Already recovered. Easy peasy. Let's get our uh, aircrafts out back to... Oh, do you see that? We have Admiral Akbar hiding away over there. Let's go and capture him with his pants down. Oh, no, he left. <gasps> no. Damn it. Uh, yeah, he left. Blast. All right. Well, we'll get him. We'll get him. Don't you worry. We'll get him. We'll get him. We'll get him. Uh, just how... Oh, I didn't have a commanding ship. Whoops. Um, let's see here. What have they got? Really nothing. I could have maybe auto-resolved this, but I don't really want to risk that, you know, and lose a victory or something like that. Alrighty, so we finally just pushed through what they had and just took out what they needed. It was such a small fight that it was not really any point to show it. But there you go. No losses. Secured that pretty instantly. So far, so good, really, if you look at it. Like, we've got a lot going on here. I'm, I'm really proud of our progress, to be honest. Um, okay, so I guess next up, we want to move this allegiance that we've just built to our wall agamar oh okay well yeah they can go for it i don't mind um at least it, because they do that at least we know where um things are i guess if they're gonna invade like that i could just auto resolve this battle i it's so small i'm just gonna auto resolve it done um yeah and i'm just gonna pull back i, I i'm really not in a rush to uh, defend Agama. Oh, they conquered it. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Again, I don't. I don't. I don't really care. Uh, yeah, maybe we could have held it, but it's whatever at this point. Maybe we might want to go for Ord, but right now I want to take on Coruscant. I don't want to split my attention onto too many different things. So let's go for Coruscant next because this one's gonna be pretty big and i want to be really prepared for this one okay fingers crossed uh a new vessel my old flagship the yulu sank they told the galaxy it's been scrapped but now i must face down my own command so that whoa hold on they just got a uh oh dear okay well it looks like they've got a lusankia now this is awful Please tell me it's not a Coruscant. I don't think it is. But please, for the love of God, let it not be a Coruscant. So now they've got the Lusankia. The scrapped Lusankia. That's not great news. But I still think we can win. I think we, you know, with the allegiance that we built now as well, I think we, we stand a pretty good chance. I'm not going to deploy anything just yet. I want to see if um, pirates are on their way. We'll, we'll know in just a second. No pirates. Okay. I'm assuming so because I can retreat. If I can't retreat, then I'm assuming that's when pirates come, right? Like, that's my guess. Either way, these guys are getting restless. They're coming straight towards us, which is exactly what we want. And then we'll drop our big boy uh, allegiance alongside our, uh, our free Imperial 2s. You know what? We could we could just sideline them right now. Let's do it. Let's jump all these bad boys together. Bang, 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 and then we'll just drop our victory twos in the back here. They might they might uh, just straight up try and leave, but I hope I don't think they will. So we can get these guys to just focus down this uh, liberator cruiser. Let's go for these Dauntlesses on the front here. Take those out first. Then we'll go for everything else in between afterwards. Right. 
We've got another two victories here that I, I could really do with as much firepower as we possibly can. I don't want to lose our allegiance or anything. I don't want to take any risks. Cause this is still quite a big fleet, right? Like, I don't want to be. I don't, don't want to be too hasty. All right, let's go for this Liberty Cruiser next. That's the one. That's the ticket. Uh, they're, they're really firing in on the back line of these victories, huh? Like, I generally thought uh, the victories were safe, but one's already de-shielded. I'm worried about this uh, Imperial Star Destroyer, though, so I'm going to try and... No, you can't go that way. It's the MC-80B that's firing on it. I don't know if I'm going to have enough time to save it. Alright, hang on. Pause. I need everything on this. You just keep going. Hopefully we can shred it fast enough before it could shred us. But I don't think we will. I think I've been a bit too slow on the marker with this one. Yeah, no. I think I'm going to lose uh, uh, Vic Darren. That was really hasty. I'm surprised he went down so quick. You know? Sucks, but... My first pretty big vital mistake, I'd say. I'm going to lose a victory, too. It's hard to try and not, like, not lose any ships. Especially heroes. We took it out. No way is it going to live. No way you're going to live. I don't believe it. No way you're going to actually live. I will be shot... Victory, fine, whatever. But if we, we we keep this guy alive, oh no. Eighty-five. It's the fighters. It's the fighters that are causing a bit of a headache, you know. Ah oh, man, that was a huge kind of like misplay from me, you know. Let's get these lances in now, just so we can stop. Because there's a lot of bombers, right? Like, there he goes. Sad, but it is what it is. All right, let's get this uh, Allegiance and uh, Imperial 2. I was really confident. I was really just a bit too confident. They have too many fighters. I didn't anticipate that. You know? Too many fighters. But let's try and just move our victories out of that and just bring them in as well. That Allegiance to head the charge. Just go straight in. You take up most of the front line there. Okay, hopefully these uh, Lancers will be able to uh, cause enough headaches. Uh, look, dangerous anti-fighter. Yeah. Uh, the see the thing is with like Thrawn's Revenge, I find that anti anti-fighters just tend to not have enough kick. You know, in terms of power, it's kind of frustrating. Uh, so you kind of have to fight them with other fighters. Otherwise, you just don't get it the job done. Really. That's my opinion on it. Okay. So let's focus in on this. Uh, see, I don't want I don't want my fighters over there. I want my fighters on these X-Wings. Um, Alright. Well, just be careful. I don't want you... See, our allegiance is already de-shielded, but we should be okay. The worst is kind of like gone at this point. See, what are you guys doing? Come on. This way. Jesus. It's these fight. Yeah, it's this fight is really overwhelming. Right, you take out this on that side. And you can go for the golden one. See, they had this well fortified. They really did. Uh, honestly, it's not too bad for the losses that we've had, though. You know? It's not the end of the world. I definitely could have saved that Imperial. Maybe I could have, would have lost a victory, but I definitely could have saved um, Vic. Shame, but oh well. My first... I've got to have made a mistake at some point, right? Like, I'm... I'm I'm not the best at GC. I'm really not. Let's try and get this victory out. Golden's kicking my ass. Why are you doing a 360? Think no skateboarding trick. Just go. 
Oh dear, I made a video like about maybe a year and a half ago about like pathfinding in Empire War, and I was like, it's about the Bezier curve. And maybe I was a little bit right, but I, 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 when I think back to it, I'm like, dumb video, really dumb video, you know. But it, it, it does. When you look at the lines, they, it, 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 that's how Photoshop uses the pen tool. It's like the Bezier curve uh, theorem theory. And, it, and that's how they do that's how computers generate curves in in in, in some graphical sense I'm, I'm, you know whatever but um yeah I, I i was saying the pathfinder uses this in in empire war and i don't know if i'm right but i'm i think i'm wrong <laughs> but who cares about the strike cruiser victory two lost and vic but we took out a lot mc80 liberty cruiser mc80b dauntless a lot there that was it was a big fleet it was definitely a big a big fleet yeah vict has been killed i don't even know if we're gonna have enough ground units for coruscant as well you know i think this could be really tough but if i capture coruscant that could be a big win for us a big win i'm gonna see what i can do i'm gonna see what i can do and while we do that, let's go ahead and build a, another allegiance over here. We'll build him, but I want another allegiance. And what else can we cut? I want to build some ground units here. So we'll build a few of those. Uh, and that, okay. Enlist a fair few troops here so we can really bolster up our ground units. Okay, cool. Not the end of the world. Let's see what Coruscant's got. I think this is going to be really big. It's going to be nasty. There's going to be a lot of ground uh, ground units too, so wish me luck. Uh, my second huge mistake. We got absolutely slaughtered. So, yeah, they are really well prepared there. <laughs> um, wow. Okay. Bit of a setback. That's okay. Um, I just need to regroup my ground forces and just retry Coruscant. That is, it's going to be a big one to take, but... Uh, it's doable. It's definitely doable. Okay, so while we're building up some ground troops here, let's go ahead and see what we've got at Ord. Because if I can't do much at Coruscant right now, we may as well push to the left and kind of finish the campaign at this point. So, uh, I'm a bit worried as well, especially when they've got uh, a loose Sankia that we want to kind of go against. So if this is right, they've got nothing on here apart, apart from a, uh, a shipyard. And then they've only got an MC-40A uh, here. So really weak fleets. I'm going to go ahead and start pushing through. I'm going to be aggressive. There's no point in me just hanging about and doing nothing. So uh, let's put our fleets here to one side and start pushing into Agamar again. Uh, and we're just going to go uh, pushing onto two different sides. We may as well. I didn't want to, uh, but at this point we may as well. I'm going to auto-resolve as well because we kind of secured that. Let's try and get our ground units together here. And uh, keep building more. That's We just need to keep building tons more because that's our weak point right now. It's really our weak point. I wouldn't mind another allegiance if we can at some point as well. I don't think I can build any more. Strange. Oh, uh, oh, we've already got one in, in construction. Okay, cool. Whatever. Um, So more, more, tons and tons and tons of ground units. Just need loads of them. Anyway. Uh, let's get these guys into our next ground battle at Agama. So, hopefully this will be a lot easier than last time. So, I'll see you guys in just a second. Yep, they just pretty much retreated. I could have auto-resolved that easily. So, um, next up, I'm going to start pushing into Ord. Hopefully, they don't have new fleets that I'm unaware of instantly. Like that. Um, but... We got to take a little risk. We got to start taking down this choke point so we don't have to keep juggling everything. And then I'll just fortify Ord as much as I can, move everything over there. They're going to really invade here. Hmm. Hmm. That's a trade station, so I don't care. I'm going to auto resolve anyway. I'm just wondering if the allegiance will be up by the time that they. Uh, actually attack. Fingers crossed they won't. But we'll see. What have we got here? We have a Republic Star Destroyer, some MC-40Cs, 
Nothing too big. We can we can do this one. We can do this relatively quickly. Okay, fingers crossed. What have they got in terms of fleets? Uh, honestly, not that big. We don't have an allegiance with us, do we? But that's okay. Uh, what we'll do is we'll drop in that there. We'll drop that in there. We'll drop that in there. And then our victories just in the back like so. And our cheeky little um cat cruiser right over there let's get you over there and then you fighters right into the battle uh let's, let's see yeah get you guys straight in there bombers do we have a lot of them not really but uh that's okay we'll just go ahead and get them focused in on that there uh and any extra fighters you get right into that fight I want to see all of these ships taken down in, like, no escaping. Not not an option. Let's keep our distance. They can bring the fight to us. I'm not going to try and push up my victories in or anything like that. The uh, fighters will keep them busy because we've got a lot of fighters to do so. Uh, and these MC40Cs uh, are just coming in one by one. Really easy to take out. Uh, so they're easy wins. This Republic Star Destroyer is staying back. I wouldn't mind bringing uh, these two up a bit forward so we can actually deal some damage to them. Uh, how far in do you need to be? Okay, well, let's just drag you in a tiny bit further. Uh, victory, you can fire in from the side. And this one can fire in from the side here as well. And this heavy... This heavy dreadnought can just come in from the back of this Imperial. So not too bad. Not too bad. Mm, no, you don't need to retreat. You're not that low. That Republic Star Destroyer is going to go down any second now. Very easy. Go in there. So far, so good. I, on, uh, apart from this uh, Star Destroyer uh, somehow doing a 180. Everything seems to be going according to plan. Really, I'm, I'm just going to start pushing forward now because this is nothing to us. Uh, and so should you. I'm going to keep these victories in the back here just to deal with these smaller fleets uh, and fighters. While our Imperials can go ahead and take out the Golan and whatnot. So you guys move forward. Any extra fighters? I'll take those. How are Imperials doing? Yeah, perfectly fine. This was really easy. I'm going to just speed up at this point. No point wasting your guys' times. I really dissected that battle when I didn't need to. Fighters, I want you in. Come on, victories. You might be weak, but you're still valuable. Next up is that. We've got one other trade station I'm not worried about, but I'm happy to put in more firepower with the uh, immobilizer. No, it's not the immobilizer. I keep calling it the immobilizer. It's the, it's the uh, interdictor. Yes, oh, man. Don't tell me we've got to take out the fighters as well. All right. Oh, no. There we go. Nice. Clean win. Clean win. Clean win. Very easy. Very easy. No losses. Very easy indeed. Um, I want to go ahead. Uh, can you finish building? Nice one. That's perfect. I'm really tempted to just actually push right uh, into these asteroids now. I know it's just one allegiance. But I want to do it. I want to do it. I want to see what we can do. I think that one allegiance can take down an MC-80. And any of the extra fleets it's got. I'm that impatient. Oh. Okay. You might as well retreat, buddy. You might as well retreat. And there we go. They ain't going to stay. So that means this is really, really good news. We've uh, captured... Um, we've captured uh, Admiral Akbar. Uh, uh, I-4, or whatever you want to call it. This is really good news. So what we'll do is we'll get our ground units in at Ord. Um, and, and then I will... How, what should we do? We may as well just go and quickly take out... Um, this, I'll do this grand battle 
Uh, actually, I think I could just auto resolve. Fine. It's like we got that many ground units at this point. Let's go ahead and take on. It's just Admiral Akbar with an incredibly small fleet. So we should be ready to go. Take him out. Easy peasy. We got him exactly where we wanted. Whoa, that skybox is. Gives me vertigo. That's strange. I like it. Look at that. Oh, no, I shouldn't have done that. That's because it's going to make me worse. Oh, they've actually got golden free here. So that it's not like they're not prepared. Actually, do we even have enough firepower for this home one? That's what I want to know. Hmm. Free, free ISDs. Free Imperial 2 ISDs. Three victories, escort carrier. Is this enough? Do you think? I'm probably overthinking, like I usually do. But I think this is enough. It's a lot of shields. I'm gonna do it. I'm, I'm actually gonna do it. Let's do it. Let's get this here. I want you to stop moving where you are. Let's move you here. Let's drop you here. Put you in the back here. Put you in the back there. Same with this. I'm actually just going to play now just so I know where these victories are going. Okay. I I hope we don't lose anything. I really hope we don't. We need everything on this immediately. Uh, so I need all your vic all firepower on that MC-80 home one, including the fighters. Get all of my fighters and bombers, everything on it. Just distract it as much as you can. Get it in there. It's already using its active. I think we might lose an ISD. Because this is this is a big ship, right? Like, it's it's not like we're going to get away scot-free. This is, this is going to be a big takedown. Admiral Akbar is no joke. And this is going to be good training for the uh, Lusankia right at the end, too. Okay. Oh, actually, never mind. We ripped apart those shields really fast. Incredible. I was really overthinking this. Yep, keep, keep, keep it going. Keep it going. Output all firepower if you can. Let's go. Nice. Clean. See you later, Admiral. Just... See you later, Akbar. It was a good one. Well played. Right, let's get the rest of these uh, bombers and fighters in on the other uh, frigates. And then take down that Golan free. And then that's it. Uh, we, we've taken out pretty much a lot of the big players here, apart from Lusankia. And we're pretty much destined for the win at this point. The rest is just easy peasy. So I will skip past all of this and we'll get to the Golan free. Okie dokie, we are here at the Golan. And we do have... Oh, well, I mean, this one took the, pretty much the brunt of the damage of the MC-80 uh, home one. And it pretty much survived like without losing any of its hard points which is amazing i the home one looks big right it's the same relatively the same size maybe if a little bit smaller than like a blue diver or a mediator so the size is really formidable right you look at it and you're like oh my god you look at the stats at it and you're like oh god twenty thousand shields you think it the worst right but the firepower on it is really not amazing it the size makes you think you're up for a big fight when really you're not and there you go there's this there's the retreat i will take that thank you very much well played i mean they may as well at this point i don't care about all of that stuff i got what i wanted in that fight um cool that was a big big win for us big 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 win okay next up i'm just going to quickly bring these guys over here and bring those guys down there uh i'm going to bring this uh uh, over to Coruscant. Why did I need this for Coruscant? No, I didn't. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I don't know if I can intercept it in time, but no. Um, let's see here. Do you think this is enough? I'm not going to auto-resolve it. I'm just going to do it. So I'll see you guys in a second. <laughs> I had to think about that one. Well, that was kind of hell. Not because of the difficulty, but because it was the map layout and the rain. It was really not friendly at all. It was really hard to see as well. But we did it. We secured it. We lost a few, but nothing we can't handle. What I want to focus on right now, right 
at this moment is I want to build that. I want to make this super well defended without, like, I completely well defended. Um, so I'm going to keep all of my fleet there. I'm going to re uh, reunite some ground forces. I tell you what, since since uh, we've got all this secured and we don't have to worry about anything here, actually, while we're here, we should also look at um, building tax collection agencies, a uh, one of these, and then... Yeah, I guess just, we'll, we'll, we'll stick to that. Um, we'll build another allegiance as well. <clears throat> but yeah, let's go ahead and get all of our ground units ready for the Coruscant fight. Because uh, that's what I want. Right, Th this allegiance, I'm sorry. You're supposed to come all the way around. I apologize. I'm going to have so many ground units that I can just auto-resolve Coruscant. Th I'd love that. Not that I'd be able to do that, to be honest, but still. Um, just get them all together, boys. Serious stuff. Did I uh, build on this planet as well? No, I haven't. So, tax collection agency. That. Cool. Um, I'll leave that for now. Uh, yeah, more ground units. Get them all together. Get them all together. I didn't build anything on this planet. Man, I've got so many planets. I'm not even aware of, of what I'm building, right? Like, not a good look. Um, okay. <clears throat> so, look how mad this gra these ground units are. It's huge. It's truly huge. Um, and this allegiance can come down to Ord. Uh, okay, right. So, next up, we're going to bring this all to Coruscant. And we're just going to storm Coruscant, Coruscant completely. We've locked down the um, New Republic down to three planets. This is it. We're, we're about to... Uh, Oh, wow, we've got another allegiance. How are we not on pop? Oh, look, our pop cap. Yeah, we got loads. Jesus, we got so much cash too. Let's build tons of those. Let's build. I want to build more. Um, what is this? Boarding shuttle. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, I want to use that. I don't want to use that. Oh, imagine if we could use a. Can we use a boarding shuttle on Super Star Destroyers? Is that possible? Or is that just like for allegiances and Super Stars, uh, standard Star Destroyers and whatnot? I'd love to know. Why can't I build any more ships? Oh, well. I guess it's because I'm... I don't know. Whatever. Doesn't matter. I want everything ready to go. Uh, how are we looking on Ord? Can we build anything else? Uh, yeah, let's build this. Okay, cool. I am ready. Oh, boy, am I ready. I, I know this is cheeky. Should I auto-resolve? No. I'm not going to auto-resolve. I'll see you guys in a second. <laughs> I, I'm so tempted. That was pure hell. I lost everything. That was... I lost pretty much everything, right? That was the most boringest match I've ever had on ground in my life. Curson, it's impossible to get another landing zone without them just firing everything they have at you. It was just insane. I, I just had to have... A little LA, uh, LAC or whatever, it, whatever it's called, lat, uh, just flying around and then bombing running where I needed to go. It was, it was true hell. I'm so glad you didn't have to watch that. I'm so glad I didn't stream that. It, none of you would have enjoyed it. It was, it would have been the worst thing in the world. It really was. It really, really was. What? Honest. I'm, I'm making it sound like it would be really fun to watch because I did not enjoy it, but it was just pure silence while I was just waiting. There was nothing. It was. I wasn't angry. I wasn't frustrated. I was just bored. <laughs> that was just awful. Anyway, <laughs> with that all said and done, let's uh, get some stuff built on that planet and just claim it as our own and win this campaign. God, that was awful. Truly awful. Um, okay. <clears throat> now we have everything un in, you know, in the palm of our hands, let's go ahead and check what we have at Bill Bringy. Let's go ahead and check at what we've got at uh, here. And everyone's favorite planet, Aurora Borealis. Are we going to get invaded at Farin? Perfect. Auto resolve. Don't care. What have you got? Is that all you, is that all you have? Pfft. Just gonna auto resolve that. 
Uh, easy peasy, really. Uh, oh, we've got we've got uh, Wedge Antilles there at Bill Bringy. We've got another home one. Hold on here. Hold on. Hold on. We've got another home one. That's actually a pretty sizable fleet, right? Like, uh, I mean, we're going to use this fleet instead because we've got like two allegiances. But that's still a sizable fleet for sure. All right. This, so this is probably going to be our final non um, non auto, re you know, auto whatever um, battle auto resolve. I think we can au even auto resolve wedge Antilles unless that's the Lusankia. Because I did see they had a Lusankia. But where, I don't know. Uh, so this will, this will be the last biggest battle, I think. Unless they do actually have a Lusankia. But I really doubt they do. Anyway. Uh, here we go. Let's get our allegiance. Two allegiances. ISD. That's the immobilizer. We don't need that right now. Just more IS, uh, ISDs. Let's get our carriers in. We're already at max, so it's better be enough for real. Man, I love allegiances. Like they, they look they look great, right? They look they look like a souped up <clears throat> uh, star destroyer, but. In fact, fun fact is uh, my favorite ship is the Bellator Super Star Destroyer. It's like a baby uh, Super Star Destroyer, but it's like so well designed, and, like and so like compact and does the job well, right? <clears throat> does the job well. Whoops, I did not mean to control a that. Uh, I meant to have uh, got the fighters in. Uh, it, right, let's get this ISD here. We're going to lose an ISD for sure, I think, because I'm just being so aggressive here. No, no, no. Just focus on this bad boy. I don't know why you need to move, but yeah, we don't need you to focus on on that. All right, here we go. Home one. See, look, this is what I'm talking about. Eight heavy dual turbo lasers and eight heavy dual iron cannons. It's not a horrendous amount of damage compared to like an allegiance or something. Yeah, I don't know why you're having to move like that. You're just You're fine. Target him. Shred his shields. Oh my god, what is this? What is this ISD doing? Anyway. So let's just strip these shields. We have pretty much secured this once and for all. We've did it, boys. This is a pretty much a whole campaign in one uh one video. I was gonna split this up. You know, I was just telling her, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try and put it into a 40 minute video, do another one. That's another 40 minutes. It's like, no, get it all done. If you can get it under an hour, amazing. If not, don't worry about it. Just get it all out in one go. And it, yeah, glad we did. I thought we were going to have a lot of battles when we start pushing in, but it looked like the AI was so super aggressive that um, they were so super aggressive that they didn't have anything at their, their base, which is insane to think about. Really, um, I I'm going just I'm just going nuts here. I I don't care. These allegiances are having a hard time trying to navigate though, which is kind of annoying. But they're because it's they're so big. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll just get rid of those fighters for now. I don't feel comfortable having just one ISD. Up against the Golan Free. So can you guys hurry up, please? That would be amazing. All right, let's get let's take down this uh the rest of this Golan One. Bada bing. Bada boom. Bada pow. Awesome. Take out these remaining hard points of this Golan Free. Woo! And then they're, they're, they're leaving. Perfect. I'm glad because I didn't want to have to take up the rest here. It's all just a nuisance to me. A nuisance. Because I'm so powerful. Hmm. Perfect. No losses there. Um, did we lose anything? Well, a little, but not really. That matters. Um, if I 
have do i have any other ground units ready to go no because i really don't want to do enough crap out i will resolve i deserved that i did okay okay i deserved that I can always resolve this. I know that. Ugh, yeah. We're going to just need to build so much ground battle unit stuff that we can just bang, bang, bang. Easy peasy, right? Loads of those. Uh, most expensive thing here. Loads of those. Loads of these. Loads of these. Loads of those. Just tons and tons and tons. Can we get barracks? Do we have anything for barracks? Anything. I'm begging. I'm begging. I'm begging. I'm pleading. Why can't I build any more ground? Yeah, oh, it's bugged out? I don't know. Right. Start building barracks at this point because I just, I just want to build uh, uh, ground units at this point. Please. Pretty please. Okay, right. Now that I've got that all sorted. What I want to know is, is this a superstar destroyer? Because they were talking all about a Lusankia, right? Oh, yeah. Here we go. Nope. We've got one last big battle. That is a Lusankia. Uh... We should be fine, right? We should be fine. This is going to be a big battle. Damn. No, don't worry. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Modified Lusankia. This is my first Super Star Destroyer battle in, like, GC, if I'm being honest. Uh, My first ever one. Good God. Okay. They were really hiding this from us, huh? Saving the best till last. Jesus. Okay. Okay. Right. Let's get these allegiances in then. Okay. Three allegiances. Two ISDs. And then a, a, a victory, a victory one. That's what we can. This is all we can put down. Okay, let's get these fighters in and generated. I'm I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. Surely I should be able to, right? Surely I should be able to. Oh God. Okay. This is this is spooky gameplay, perfect for Halloween. Okay, here we go. Uh, I, I think it's like bombers would be in a better approach, right? But we don't have a lot. We really don't have a lot. Wait, no, I know there's more of you. Yeah, just focus in on this. Honestly, just all of you focus in on this at this point, to be honest. Oh boy, okay. Let's go, lads. This is it. Let's do this. Just move in closer. I don't want to take any risks. Okay. I, uh, yeah. See, this is where having loads of bombers coming in and just bang, 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 bang across the hull. That would be ideal. But it's fine, you know. We're gonna if we lose ships, we can resupply. We got loads in uh, in reserve here. Just just focusing on this. Right, his shields, wedges, shields are coming down to half already. It really looks like it's struggling to get any form of damage out on us, right? Like that's what I'm seeing here. So this here, right, we select which ship we want. Wait, really? I can put it on the Allegiance? Whatever. I could, it looks like I can put it on that Allegiance. 
Okay. Oh boy, oh boy. Right. Yeah, now we're starting to break down the, the hard points here. Let's keep those uh, fighters in if we need to regen any. We're starting to lose shields on one allegiance. How about you don't get so close? Okay, now, um, now I'm not too scared. <laughs> now I'm not too scared. Oosh. I was, I was a little, I was a little scared. I was like, oh my god, eighty-four thousand hull. Look, all those turbo lasers and heavy turbo lasers and all that stuff. But I think we'll be, we'll be all right. Now that we're getting to the hard points and making this Lusankia a lot weaker, all is good. All is good. All is good. Okay. Yes, just shred him. Shred him. Yeah, baby. Just focus on this bad boy. I like all this passive damage on uh, on these little uh, frigates as well. I'm not massive on just taking them down because they've got shipyards and stuff. We uh, we really needed everything here, right? Like we really needed this. We're gonna lose an ISD. Please tell me that's okay. There's our free allegiances. Okay, so that's de shielded. These two are fine. It's just you, you focus in on uh, taking this out. Oh, we we lost one. Perfect. All right, let's bring in another. Is that we got? Oh, we've got four ISDs. I did not want to even see that. Wow. Yeah, we're absolutely fine. Man, I was really like kind of frightened, and I was really scared over nothing. For real. Look, we've had enough of you, MCATB. Let's get you out of here. I probably will not be able to kill this. Man, we've really stripped this uh, ISD, uh, this uh, SSD down, huh? Nearly half hull. Ooh, look at this allegiance, man. Like, it's nearly dead. Yeah, you two focus on this. That's your, uh, that's your duty. Oh, boy. No, don't worry about the engines. Just go for the hard points. You go for that. I just want this uh, MCATB down. This is annoying me. You can focus on that. See, now it's moving in because these hard points are out of range on these ships when these were the ones on the front of the ship weren't. So now the AI is trying to push and get all of these hard points into range to start firing on the enemy. Uh, interesting. Right, there's an allegiance down. There's a victory down. Let's get another victory down on here. Uh, sorry, two ISDs down on either side. That Dauntless isn't low. but Look, Once we get rid of this ISD, I'm, I'll be fine. I'll, I'll actually even consider uh, auto-resolving. Um, yeah. Take up the back of the hard points here. I want you to just finally take out this. God damn it. Yeah. Don't pull out. I want you dead. <laughs> Alright, if you want to live, I'll try and get you out. You were trying to regen shields, but. Nope. Oh, well, I tried. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> victory. Victory. There we go. I'm being really destructive here. I'm just like throwing it in and just m having them do maximum damage. These two allegiances are really pulling through. And the first one tanked a lot. I was really impressed by that. Mm. It seems like having an allegiance and then having loads of like smaller capital ships tend to win against the, the bigger super capital. Uh, but the bigger capital, but having loads of allegiance capitals against like a super capital tends to do pretty well like you get what i mean like a hierarchy the lower ups tend to be able to punch up a bit better i don't know 
it does seem like whilst ISDs are pretty good at just absolutely decimating matches where you know you don't have to think too much uh they don't do very well against like a you know a pretty sizable fleet you know having all of that firepower consolidated into one area is probably not the uh the greatest move you hear that palpatine thrawn was right all along you idiot you wouldn't see thrawn dead in one of these ssds Okay, right. I, I'm, I'm honestly. Let's just auto resolve this at this point. I, I did it. We took him down. We took it down. The SSD's down, baby. Woo! Oh my God! Look at that. The Lusankia has been destroyed. Okay, right. So while that's all happening, we pretty much. Wiped out everything. Out. Into, I'm just going to keep cycling around these. Uh, actually, I'll tell you what. Let's um, split these up into two separate fleets. Uh, yeah. And then what we'll do is we'll put one over here and one over here. Just so we know. Um... Right, let's get these bad boys together. Mm. Yep. Yep. I can't construct anything there. I can construct stuff there. There we go. Uh, cool. Perfect. I'm just building the biggest ground battles so I never have to uh, worry about... I, I can just auto-resolve if I want to. Okay. That's the plan. I never want to do another ground battle. Okay. I consolidated my ground units. I think this is enough. Like 40 stormtroopers, 20 80 80s. Uh... 70 maulers, whatever you want to call them. I just think this will be enough <laughs> to win auto resolves. If not, then my god. There we go. I'll take that. Very nice. Let's move over here. Auto resolve that. I thought it said lost. I was about to scream. <laughs> and then our final planet, Bill Bringy. Auto resolve. We won the battle. There it is. A campaign in one video, boys and girls. We did it. Bang, bang, bang. I thought it was going to be a two-parter. I even recorded an outro for a two-parter. You can thank Ek for this being in a one video. Never want to do ground battles again. I hate it so much. Makes me want to blow my brains out. But hey, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you love everything Empire War and you still haven't joined our Discord, be sure to join our Discord in the invite code in the bottom in the pinned comment down below, uh, we everyone talks about Empire War there. We even have monthly competitions where people go head-to-head -head against one another in skirmish. So go try that out. Besides that, guys, I've been Charlie. I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys.